Don't stop. A family shop. Think Bayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Bayer. All right, so we're here with Burke Badenhop at Great American Ballpark. You're showing around the BGSU baseball staff a little bit. Just first off, what has this day been like for you? Just uh, you know, have Coach Schmitz here well, and be able to show the staff around. It's, it's got to be pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's a unique thing for me. It's something that kind of popped into my head uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I text uh, Rick Blank and thought, man, I better get him down here before school starts because they'll be really busy by then. And just something really uh, cool that kind of I can only can only do for him and stuff, uh, but. Just showing them kind of what my day-to-day pre-game preparation and kind of what things are at, at the big league level. If there's anything they can, you know, lean on that, that would help them. And, uh, you know, it was a pretty cool experience. Yeah. I hope they enjoyed it. And then taking you back a little bit, you played at BG from 2002 to 2005. You guys won the regular season MAC championship right. in 2002, and then had another 30 win season in 2005. Right. Just what are what do you remember? Some of your good memories playing for the Falcons? Uh, many many games ago, but um, I mean I still talk to plenty of my teammates. I'm still very close with lots of guys, and just. Uh, just how much fun it was, you know, whether it be having classes with guys or living on your campus with guys. And uh, it's just, uh, it's something really special that I'm glad that I experienced and something I'll never forget and hope that, you know, guys growing up uh, get that college experience. And then one of your teammates at Bowling Green, Nolan Reimold, you played with him actually all three of his years at Bowling Green. Uh, you were both drafted in 2005. You're the two uh, BGSU Falcons playing in the big leagues right now. Uh, what's your relationship uh, with him, and how cool is it that you guys are the two uh, Bowling Green players playing in the big leagues? Well, I owe a lot to Nolan because, you know, he was a really highly ranked prospect. So he would bring the scouts, and I would just get lucky enough to pitch. Uh, so we actually have the same agent now. and. Uh, I don't talk to him too much, you know, when uh, he was at the Orioles and I've been in through the AL East, I'd see him every once in a while, but, you know, he's battled some injuries, but I'm really happy to see that he's back, and uh, it's pretty cool to think, you know, you get a little bit long in the tooth now, you know, you, you don't feel like you're that old, but 2005 when we both got drafted was a long time ago, and so I think it uh, really shows, you know, the foundation and the fundamentals and what type of people that Coach Smith, you know, gets out of Bowling Green, and yeah. those type of people that can have success in professional baseball. Yep. And then uh, you played four years with uh, Florida, and now the last right. four years been Absolutely. jumping around a little bit, played with four uh, different teams. You had a career year last year with Boston. What's kind of been the last four years like with you, just playing on different teams, playing in both division, playing in both leagues? Right. What's it's, it been like? Um, it's kind of all you know now. It's kind of weird like to think that I was on the same team twice <laughs> yeah. before, but uh, you know we've been very lucky. My wife and I, we've got a daughter who's uh, going to be two this fall, and to bounce around like we have, but always land on our feet and land in really good spots. And Cincinnati is a really good spot for us. Uh, the organization is, you know, top notch. It's close to home. We get to see, you know, people from school. We get to see our parents and everything like that. So we've been very blessed. And uh, you know, as long as the team will have us, you know, I'm gonna go out there and do my absolute, and then, uh, absolute best to yeah. help us win. And then lastly, uh, you're here in Cincinnati. Um, just been pitching great. Haven't uh, even allowed a run in a month. Uh, just what's it been like this experience in Cincinnati being back in Ohio? I'm sure it's been fun having uh, more people probably get to come out and see you and what's yeah, this experience been like? It's nice to, um, you know, like I said, I get to see my parents a lot. Uh, they get to see their granddaughter a lot. Uh, we get some help every once in a while, you know, when somebody wants to come and babysit. And uh, so it's really nice. I remember the first year this ballpark was open, my roommate and I, Jeff Warnock, you know, we sat way up in the 500 level one night and sat out and left field another night. And, uh, to think that you know this is the place that I call work is, is pretty surreal and, and pretty neat. But uh, again, we're, we're we're real lucky and you know, very happy to be red. And hopefully, you know, we'll see what happens. Continue to throw well and um, you know, see what happens next year. All right, Burke. Well, thanks so much and good luck the last uh, couple months of the season. Appreciate it. Thank you.